A former three days of the Panna, now a one-day classic. Brugge de Panna, 203.9 kilometres, leaving Brugge and heading back to the North Sea coast, taking in the Mura, windy area, very close to the French border. Not too much climbing, flat as a pancake really, but all about trying to split this race in the wind and avoid a bunch sprint. That's for some teams, others happy to take it to the line. Three local laps of just over 40 kilometers. One of the newer classics on the calendar. Typical Belgian racing. One hundred and sixty eight riders were on the start list. Six of them got away in a breakaway. Peak, Ressel, Van Elzaker, Thesen, Appers and Gujar were brought back with 76 and a half kilometers to go, however. Then the track rider Sebastian Mora went on the attack for Movistar. He managed to get about 25 seconds of a gap. But it was pretty clear that he wasn't really going anywhere. Jake Stewart found himself going to the floor. Young British rider was so good in Omlop at Newsplad, crashing but getting back on. Thankfully, no problems or injuries for him. Mora would be caught before the penultimate passage of the finish line. And on the last lap in the Muda, Martinelli went out on the attack, taking Juice Mass with him. Astana and Movistar, without big name sprinters, looking to take something home from the race. They struggled to get any sort of big gap, however. A monster through Werner for the final time, and on their way back towards Coxeda and the coast, it was clear things were coming back together. And the two breakaway men weren't really getting on. Into 20 kilometers to go, and it was Lotto Sudal's turn to attack. Again, without a big name sprinter for this race, Brent von Muir would have a go. Quebeca Assos doing most of the controlling behind, but burning out a lot of their team. And it was on the final sector before turning into the coast that things started to hot up again. Formur would be caught with 10 kilometers to go. And those wanting a sprint would have to switch on from here on in. Lots of road furniture to take on. Edward Boissenhagen trying to work as hard as possible to put his sprinter, Lorenzo Monza, in the right place with three kilometers to go. It was a real battle to stay at the front. The Koenig Quickstep were up there sitting on the wheels. And those who had burnt their team out had to surf the wheels. The Koenig Quickstep winning the battle into the final corner. 600 meters to go from here on in. Arnold Demar suffering a mechanical problem. Miguel Marco hitting the front. Jasper Philipson sprinting. And then Sam Bennett going straight through the center and like a rocket to the line. Bennett ahead of Philipson and then Ackerman, and Bennett with his first ever one-day World Tour victory. A good job indeed, a team effort, and a fifth win of the season for the Irishman. So Bennett winning, and it's now four in five years at this race as both a stage race and a one-day classic for his team, the Koenig Quickstep. Philipson second, Ackerman third with Nibzolo and Dupont inside the top five. And all the headlines going to the man from Caracon, sure, Sam Bennett.